I think they ought to be withdrawn. They've done their job, it is finished. And I think it is now an army of occupation. Um, they were supposed to maintain law and order, but if you have been to Kampala recently, they are not maintaining law and order. In fact, they are making the situation worse than it should have been otherwise. Do you think then that people in the capital are being oppressed and that the government in effect is a tyrannical uh, now, the second part of the question, I'm sure, doesn't arise <laughs> from the first, but I think it is true that the army is terror terrorizing the population. They are looting people's houses. They are looting cattle. They are demanding money at uh, the uh, gunpoint. And I think they call that terrorizing the population. But I'm not, this does not necessarily refer to the government. Uh, first of all, I think he would like um, Uganda, if possible, to go the same way as Tanzania, in other words, to become a socialist state. Secondly, he would like the economy of Uganda to be integrated with the economy of Tanzania. He has already proposed that uh, the transport systems of the two countries should be integrated. But in effect, the main uh, intention, the uh, idea, I think, that Uganda should go the same way as Tanzania rather than go the same way as Kenya. He, the, it is wrong to say that we, we, sh, we, we do need some soldiers, but we don't need soldiers who go looting the, country, uh, the countryside. We don't need soldiers who go raping people. We don't do, uh, need soldiers who, who continue to kill our own people. I don't think that they're useful anymore.